A question is often posed to me is when do you know when to retire your oil? This oil right here has been through my freeze dryer probably at least 10 times. You can see it's getting a little bit on the darker side. Now I'm a black gold vacuum pump uh, user and black gold starts with a little bit of a yellow tint. And so you can kind of see this oil is getting a little bit darker, but how do you know when the oil is too old to continue to use? Well, that's gonna be what the subject of this video is. And the answer is really, really easy. And we're going to turn to the ASTM guidelines. If you haven't heard what ASTM, ASTM is the American Society for Testing and Materials. And there's one section within ASTM called D1500 or D1500. ASTM D1500 has a color scale that tells you the color of oil and what it really means. And we're going to delve into that. And I'm going to provide you with a color scale is going to have a Google document in the comments section of this video. But before we get into that, we're going to look at the baseline of three different well-known oils. We're going to take a look at black gold. We're going to look at harvest right, which I believe is Robin Air oil and old time favorite dairy land. This is black gold oil. And if you take a look at black gold, black gold kind of has a little bit of a yellow tint to it. That's because there's some uh, chemicals which are called R and O chemicals, which basically stands for rust and oxidation. So black gold has some chemicals in their oil that helps uh, resist rust and oxidation. And black gold is one of the few vacuum pump oils that can actually t pass another ASTM test called D1401, which is the ability to separate itself from uh, water and there's another video on that so black gold is one of my favorite oils and it's my go-to oil next oil we're going to take a look at is harvest right and i believe that is the same thing as robin air now harvest right oil is almost perfectly clear it just has a wee wee bit of a tint and this oil is 100 percent petroleum distillates hydro treated heavy par parfenic oil. There are virtually no additives whatsoever in the harvest right oil. And the last oil we have is an old time favorite of freeze dryers that really isn't used that often, but I thought I'd bring it out anyway, just to kind of show you is Dairyland. And Dairyland is very unique because of its color. And Dairyland is 99% parfenic mineral oil. Dairyland has a very distinct blue dye. And if you take a look at this right here, it's non-foaming oil, and it's basically used for milking machines. And the reason it has a blue dye can be easily seen in sight glasses of milking machines. There was a rumor for a long time that Dairyland had some really harsh detergents and stuff like that that was not conducive for uh, vacuum pumps, but if you look at the MSDS or the SDS sheet, you can pretty much tell what's in it, but uh, Dairyland oil is basically mineral oil, and so I hope that puts that rumor to rest. So these were the three big oils that have been used in freeze drying, and the reason I brought these out is to show you the different colors of these vacuum pump oils. And that's going to be important as we continue this little video. They're all different colors, and that's important when we determine the lifespan of an oil. Dairyland, because of its dye, makes things very, very difficult to determine the lifespan of the oil. So Dairyland kind of is off by itself. But these two other oils, the color of these oils, the baseline color, are very important. This is the ASTM 1500 color scale. It starts down here with almost no color whatsoever at 0.5.
and then goes all the way at point eight where it is absolutely jet black. The reason for the color change can be anything from thermal stress, which is basically heat, to oxidation, deposits, and contamination. These factors can cause color changes anywhere from a brilliant yellow to a very, very dark black color. What we are concerned most about is 4.0. It is this dark amber color that has been determined in the use of vacuum pump oil to be the critical point of useful life. Once it reaches this color, this is the point where you want to dispose of your vacuum pump oil and dispose of it properly. Anything beyond 4.0 is where we don't want to use, and so this range down here is pretty much useless because we don't even want to get to that point. Having the full-scale representation of this is really not necessary because we really don't need anything past 4. So what I did, I enlarged this and I laminated it because really we're only interested in it going up to 4 because this is a point where we want to uh, get rid of our oil and have it recycled, of course. And so if you take a look at these compared to our other oils, this is how we're going to compare it. Now these are all new oils and you can see the problem with uh, dairy land because it's blue it's very hard to kind of judge the dairy land because the blue tint that they put into it kind of throws that one off kilter. So we're just going to concentrate on the black gold and the robin air oil because those are the ones that are going to oxidize enough to where we can actually use this scale and those who use other vacuum pump oils that are basically clear by nature, well, this scale will work for you just as well. I put a piece of freezer paper on the back wall of my counter so we can see the color a little bit better. So let's go back to my filter picture that I had earlier. And you can kind of tell the color of my oil a little bit better. If you look at the color of my oil, in my harvest ripe picture and you compare it to the chart you can kind of see where we are now we're definitely not at a 4.0 but if you take a look at that i would probably say we're probably around 2.0 so i'd say that we're at this color right here so i still have plenty of life left in this oil so it's not ready to be disposed of it's halfway there and so this oil right here can still be used. Now if you take a look at this oil, this oil is extremely dark. Now this oil is not normal oil. This is oil is what I refer to as skittle oil. This oil is extremely heavy in iron oxides that was washed out or rinsed out of my vacuum pump because of the hydrogenated kernel, palm kernel oil. If you take a look at this scale right here, it really would not fall on this. So if we were to go back to my original picture, you can see that this oil is extremely dark. And that is way past the 4.0 that we're discussing. Because this exceeds 4.0, this oil should not be used and should be recycled. Now you may have oil such as this that really does not look anything amber or does not really match the scale. When oil like this, which is milky, that is a sign of water that has been mixed with your oil. In cases like this, take this oil and let it sit for several days. There's a good sign that oil that has been mixed with water will eventually separate. So you'll have good oil on the top and down on the bottom, you'll have the water. If that's the case, pour off the good oil and leave the water behind. Other than having your oil professionally tested, which can be quite expensive, this is about the only way that you can gauge for yourself on the quality of your oil. Most manufacturers of oil and vacuum pumps have all agreed that 4.0 is the maximum limit on where you should put your oil. Anything past 4.0 you should not use. Anything prior to that is where you can use your oil. However, if you wish to change out your oil before 4.0, 
that's totally up to you, the financial decision. I do have this scale that you can download on Google Docs, or you can do a print screen from this video. I hope this answers the question on when your oil will reach its useful life and when you should dispose of your oil. The key color to remember in the life of your oil is a dark amber color. I hope you found this video helpful and I'd like to thank you for your time. As always, please subscribe and I will send you another video soon and go forth and freeze dry the world.